Hello everyone, Epic Jewel God here, and I'm bringing you this commentary over AQ Worlds, <coughs> just to tell you about the quests that have been returned. I'm very excited about this because ooh, there goes my phone. I'm very excited about this because they left for a while, but now they're back. But the only thing is they've got new requirements, and it really pisses me off. Um. So these are the quests. Ground of goodness. So you've got goodwill free, good intentions five, good heart and good idea, and goodness one, uh, like twenty. Because this is really annoying. Because twenty goodness is really hard to get now. Um. But there's another advantage. These quests will be leaving, and it's going to leave you with an amazing blade called the Wicked. <coughs> now, um, I can bring you a picture. Should I give you a picture? <sighs> okay, okay, I'll I'll get you a picture. One second. So this is a quest. You get free legion tokens for sure, but you know you don't get the bleed every time. So sorry about that, people. <sighs> do -do -do, do -do -do. Oh no 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 no. Okay then, so this is the Wicked, as you can see. Um, it's it's an okay blade, I don't really like it that much, but since it's going rare, I have to have it. Because it's part of the Legion, and it's 1% drop. Just like the Khaled Bulg, but it required Titan, so... I, I like this blade, but I prefer the Khaled Bulg, but, you know... So, these are the Dage quests, as you can see, if you only want to be a true member of my legion, you'll need to show me that you cannot explain to these people what I'm about to explain. Okay, so I'm going to press accept, because straight after this video, I'm going for that. <coughs> okay, and so, basically, prove that your allegiance is just the same requirements, but, like, you get less tokens. But that's non-member, and the other one's member. Okay, so let's go see Nolgif's quests. Now, Nolgif drops a blade called the Vamp Blade of Nolgif. Now, I'm not sure I like it very much considering it's really hard to get. But, since it's rare, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, the Dage quests in this war require the completion of Hail to the King. That's a champion quest. And these require undead, no, unidentified 13, so in your inventory. Oh dear, um, these quests don't work, they didn't work for me this morning, so I'll just leave them. But basically, there's two quests, just like the last ones, same requirements, I think, and you have to turn them in, you get three diamonds of Nolgif, or, well, you do get that, and you get, um... Oh yeah, the vamp blade of Nogif, so that's pretty cool. I just wanted to say thank you guys for tuning in today. All, every single view, every single like, subscribe, everyone that's been here. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I started off playing Artix Entertainment when I was 8 years old, believe it or not. That was 4 years ago. So... <coughs> When I was eight, I went over to m one of my relatives, and I started playing a game called Age of War. And basically, Age of War was this crappy old game on Friv. If you haven't heard of Friv already, then just don't go there. It's like a massive gaming website, but it's nothing like this. It's a lot of different, you know, different stuff blah 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 so basically I started playing that and I saw an advertisement at the side now this is where it gets interesting the first RX Entertainment game I ever played was in fact MechQuest MechQuest was the first game I played because it really brought to my attention it was a good ad uh, Adventure Quest Worlds I'm not sure if like it was fully developed yeah I think it was still an al alpha testing so 
I went over, I played MechQuest for about a year and a half. And I only leveled it to 39, believe it or not, but, you know. So a year and a half of MechQuest, I was really submerged into it. Until finally, I found out that Arx Entertainment had several other games. This is where it got interesting, because I had no idea for that one and a half years I played. So... <coughs> Adventure Quest Worlds was the second game I found out by Artix Entertainment, and I've been playing that for three years. MechQuest, I s completely slapped that in the face and said, I'm going to come over to this game, level up. So, basically what I did was, I started playing Adventure Quest Worlds, you know, fiddling around with things, leveling up my character, all the important stuff before I got in and started talking and stuff like that I started completing some quests and I was really enjoying that then I stopped for two years and you're probably wondering what the hell how, what happened here mech no epic duel happened guys epic duel right was what basically started off my channel if you haven't seen my other videos so in my epic duel videos there's like loads of information but I started playing that I was like, whoa, it's in beta test, and I better get my hands on some beta barges and beta gear. And then I bought Founder Ship, and it was amazing. I just felt so cool. So, in the spectacular moment of that time, I decided, about four months ago, I was in this really big, happy mood, that I would make a YouTube video. Now... During the course of my Epic Duel videos, I did say, like, I'd be updating them daily. And that didn't happen because Epic Duel, well, it just got boring. But what I'm going to say is, soon you'll be seeing more of Epic Duel. Now, I'm not going to promise when, but I know that you will. Because trust me, guys, I do change my mind a lot. And... I've basically just gotten back to Adventure Quest Worlds, really enjoying it, like, a lot. So, I was playing Epic Duel for a long time, and then I came back to this, stuck playing it, decided to go off course a bit on the channel, and make some Adventure Quest World videos, and you guys seem to really enjoy it, so, basically what I've decided to do is, if you want to see more Epic Duel videos, all I need in the comment section is one comment. Right, so for the Epic Drill videos, I'll need one comment in the comment section and I will carry on making them. Saying, like, all you have to do is say, I want more. Because Emma Hassan, like he said, he likes my Epic Drill videos. I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. And that was the main kind of focus of my channel. And I'm not going to say I'm not going to mix it up even more because soon you'll be seeing Call of Duty, Battlefield 3, loads of other commentaries. You know, I'm not completely submerged into Adventure Quest. I like to get myself out, you know, play around with the good old AK-47. So, you'll see some of that. You'll see more Epic Duel if you want and you'll definitely be seeing more Adventure Quest worlds. But all I'm going to leave you with is piecings, guys. Um, I will see you later. Uh, like if you liked the video obviously comment and subscribe if you didn't like the video dislike be honest you know go ahead but I just thought I'd give you a little backstory into how I came around to these games and how I really got into the kind of YouTubing and stuff like that my channel's not really launched yet but um, hopefully looking for around 100 subscribers, that's when we're going to start getting, you know, proper community suggestions and stuff like that. It'll be big stuff, but we'll just have to wait up for that. Yep, as I said before, uh, hope you like the video, like and comment for that epic duel video. Um, if you like all my videos, go subscribe so you can get daily updates on your homepage which will be posted every day unless I have some kind of excuse like the chicken is burning or something like that. Anyways guys, I'll see you later. Um, bye.